This video shows how to connect a three-phase PDU to a device using AC power cables. Wear an ESD wrist strap or ESD gloves while carrying out this task. To prevent personal injury or damage to the chassis, never install AC power cables while the power is on. Install the PDU. 1. Mark the PDU installation positions on the mounting rails at the rear of the cabinet. 2. And install floating nuts. It is recommended that you install the PDU at the top of the cabinet. 2. Align the PDU's mounting holes with the floating nuts. Tighten the PDU using screws while another person holds it. 3. Connect the ground cable to the closest ground point on the cabinet. Make a power input cable for a 380V three-phase AC PDU. 1. Separate the male connector from the female connector. Lead the male and female connectors of the three-phase PDU into the cabinet via the cable inlet on the top. Connect the male connector to the three-phase PDU and connect the female connector to the PDF. Separate the male connector from the female connector. 2. Remove part A and part B from the female connector. Use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen screws at the front of part A and remove part A from the female connector. Rotate part B at the bottom of the female connector counterclockwise and then unplug it from the female connector. 3. Insert the wires of the power cable into a cord end terminal. Peel away the insulation coating at the end of the power cable. Insert the wires of the power cable into a cord end terminal, and then crimp the cord end terminal on the wires using a crimping tool. 4. Insert wires of the three-phase five-pin power cable in the holes at the rear of Part A. Put the three-phase five-pin power cable through Part B, followed by the female connector. Insert the three live wires, L1, yellow, L2, green, and L3, red, neutral wire N, blue, and protection earth wire, black, into the L1, L2, L3, N, and PGND holes at the rear of Part A, respectively. Use a Phillips screwdriver to tighten the screws on the side of Part A. Five, reinstall parts A and B to the female connector. Install parts A and B back to the female connector and tighten the screw at the front of Part A. 6. Connect the male and female connectors. Connect the PDU to the PEM. 1. Connect the high-voltage DC straight female connector of the AC power cable to the power socket on the PEM, corresponding to the power module, and connect the high-voltage DC straight male connector of the AC power cable to the PDU. 2. After power cables have been properly connected, Bundle them from bottom to top with cable ties at intervals of 250 millimeters. Fix the power cables to the rack and use diagonal pliers to remove any redundant cable ties.